What's up, the guys? What's on Star Current Gaming? Come with a little bit of gaming information. If you guys did hear in the news yesterday, a actual petition went out saying Microsoft give us back the Xbox One. We are promised at E3. It went up on Change.org. You can find it in the description. But what I want to talk today about is what it, the consequences it had in the actual Xbox Live chief and the staff. Uh, the Xbox One chief, Mark Witten, responded to the actual fan petition, pretty much stating that. They're sorry. They're admitting that the company still has work when it comes to communicating with consumers. Because if you guys do know, the Xbox One went out there. They wanted to grab that entertainment, TV, TV, sports, even gaming, all in one. And not really communicating with a lot of people. Especially when they had bad communications. When it was leaked out that their next system would be always online. Adam Orff and Don Matrick did not make this better. And what his job is, this is not easy. And I got to say, um, God, dude, for what you're doing and standing up saying, well, if you guys wanted this, then why did you guys get mad when we say this? Even though they are taking away stuff, you guys are pretty much just getting that. But then when gamers are looking like, oh, wait, Sony's giving you this without the always online. Why can't you give me this? Other than that, guys, what do you guys think about this? I think it's crazy. I think if you want to sign the petition, go sign it. But if you're a PSN fanboy, please don't sign it just because you're a fan. Um, only if you really want the stuff back and you can handle always online. Other than that, guys, from the IGN post to the petition, it's been your boy, Stan Stoker and Gaming, saying until next time, Peace out and have a terrific day. Bye.